this is AJ from Team Alias, and we're starting our new weekly segment of Judgment. The first game we've chosen to go to Judgment is Try by Rat King. It's a first person puzzle exploration game. I think it's in full alpha at the minute, and it currently has 12 levels. It's about 75% done, and it's said that the final product will have around 16 levels, not including the tutorial. What can I say about this game? Oh, like... It is just beautiful to look at. I mean, my favourite part has to be the trees. I mean, because obviously it's all poly sort of shapes. I mean, even the shadows are even sort of shaped as different, as, as not rounded. But yeah, everything has this sort of airiness to it, the light from different things. It just looks absolutely beautiful. It just goes to show that you don't need high-end graphics to have a beautiful game. The controls are, you know, easy enough. It's the same. WASD to move, control to crouch, space to jump, and there's different sort of like things. Obviously when you when you when you get told it's like a puzzler type of game, you automatically think things like Portal and stuff like that. And in a way it is a little bit like Portal where you have to, you know, move in this case boxes, you know, to different things. It's not, you know, at the same time. Portal was a lot different to this, you know. It does annoy me when sometimes people compare, as soon as you see puzzler games, they think Portal. This, in my opinion, is different, completely different. In terms of storyline, there isn't really much of a storyline. There is a small one where this guy who you talk to at the tutorial says he's your spirit leader, but you can't do anything more than that, and he's the guy who helps you out throughout the game. And by help, I mean tells you that it's difficult or you're getting there. It doesn't actually help. <laughs> and then after the tutorial, you get told that you have to contain a fox. Now this fox is seen throughout the game, you know, if a little bit, you just have to keep an eye out for him. It doesn't do anything to you, but, you know, it's a nice little thing. Now after the tutorial, you get something I think either called a tree or a try, depending on, you know, how you say things like that. And it's basically a triangle where you use three different points to obviously make a platform. These platforms become crucial in especially the later stages because at first obviously you think you have to use the boxes but the, bo but the boxes are mainly used for certain things like hiding objects not for certain things or just putting them on buttons it's the triangles that you have to focus on now the triangles will turn yellow if, you know, correct, but they will turn red if they're too steep. So it does have, you know, some sort of, some form of physics in this game. It's not just letting you put this goddamn huge triangle just to get up. Another thing I really like about this game is that it's very thought-provoking. Like, you have to look everywhere. Even though at the beginning the guy does say to stop scrutinising everything, you feel like, you know, in the first level, you know, it's quite easy, you know. You go through, you do some triangles, but you must, especially in the, uh, maybe like the third level, you have to look around because the scenery, although can be helpful, is deceiving. Especially one level where you look up and there's upside down trees and, th and you think how am I going to get up there and there's different levers and for doors to get opened and it's it's just it, it's perfect in the way it's structured because you think there's no way you can get up there there's no way you can do anything and there's little holes that you miss that if you just go through it all leads up in a way that you didn't think 
because you only saw what your eyes told you what what your eyes showed you and that's another thing I love about it but it can be quite frustrating as it is with these games you know you wander around for a bit and you can't find where you're supposed to go so throughout the game you have to collect three statues that need to be placed for you to go to the next level also as well hidden are different a little littler golden statues you don't always have to find all of these and the amount of statues available each level varies from 3 to 11 you know and they're hidden in you know a lot of really obscure places that sometimes if you find one statue and there's usually a path you keep following that and there'll be little quirky places and I like that but for a person who feels the need to have to get all the statues it does kill us when I've searched and I can't find them but it's good because say when you finish the game or at least the 12 levels that are available you can go back and try and collect all the statues now it's not just a triangle sort of where do I go puzzle you know there's different like controlling levers to get a bridge over to a statue there's different falls where you know it looks like oh you shouldn't go down there but you should and obviously as the levels go on there's sort of different themes as change you know like at first there's you know a sort of oriental feel to it and then as you go on there's like maybe an african theme and the music I don't know it's it's very weird but a good weird if that makes sense like if it was anywhere else it would stick out but with this game I don't know it, it just sort of fits like it isn't a constant loop of music you know it appears now and again and although I like that sometimes just the sound of the feet can be you know a bit repetitive the game was made by two guys, two German guys, Run Rat King, I think, sorry if I pronounced the name wrong, Jenna Reinhardt and Friedrich Hansch, oh God, I'm so sorry, <laughs> Friedrich Hanisch, if I get your names wrong, everything's in the description below, where you can find it, it's currently not on Steam yet, but it is on Desora for 6 99 but it, you can, if you go on their website, which again is in the description, you can vote for it to be greenlit. And I highly recommend you do because this game, you know, it's pretty damn good. Overall, I really did enjoy, this, enjoy the game. I'm not a sort of person who enjoys like these puzzle games because I get too frustrated too easily and then just give up. But for this, you know, it was it just intrigued us to the point where I just kept going and you know, everything about it, the music, the visuals. Like I said, everything's in the description below. So if you if you wanna check it out, go try it. It is a really, really enjoyable game. <laughs>